Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal and my objective for this YouTube channel is to share informative and helpful information about life in Jerusalem and Israel. Today I want to provide some very basic information about taking the high speed train from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv or vice versa. For a brief period there were actually two trains running between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, but after the faster train opened in late 2018, the slow train was retired, so now there's only one. Please note that this information is only accurate at the date I'm uploading this video, which is why I'm including the date in the video title. Schedules and routes might always change, which is why I'm also linking to the official train schedule in the description. The train to Tel Aviv leaves Jerusalem from the Yitzchak Navon train station. This train station is located directly opposite the central bus station in Jerusalem called the Tachana Merkazit in Hebrew. It's listed on Google Maps, and here is what it looks like from the outside. The thing about the Tel Aviv train that might confuse tourists is that coming from Jerusalem, it's actually listed as the train to Herzliya, or Herzliya as Israelis pronounce it with a silent H. You can tell you're on the right train however because it usually says on the signboard that it's stopping at the airport with a small airplane symbol next to it and all Tel Aviv train stations. The train to Tel Aviv takes about 30 to 40 minutes to the closest station. And on the way back and there, it stops at Ben Gurion Airport. For that reason, the train has become the most popular means of getting to Jerusalem and Tel Aviv for people arriving into Israel or leaving it with luggage. The public service announcements on the train are offered in both Hebrew and English, so you shouldn't have any difficulty in finding out where you are and which train you're on. Before continuing on to Herzliya, the train stops at four stations in Tel Aviv. These are in order from Jerusalem, Hahaganah, Hashalom, Savidor, and Tel Aviv University. To figure out which station you need, you can use the Move It app or enter your start and end points in Google Maps. For Jerusalem, the choice is currently easy as there's presently only one station. For Tel Aviv, the mapping tools will tell you which station is closest to your destination. You can check the official train schedule using MoveIt, but for the most accurate information, visit the official Israel website at rail.co.al. You can enter your origin station and destination and get the travel schedule, and just don't forget that most public transport in Israel does not run on the Jewish Shabbat from Friday night through to Saturday evening, and that currently includes the train. To pay for your journey on the train, you'll need to use a smartphone app linked to a valid credit card. To use this method, you display the QR code generated at the check-in and exit gates. Alternatively, you can still use a physical RavCav travel card in order to get around. Hope this information has been helpful and enjoy your traveling around Israel.